Cincinnati City Council passes an ordinance which decriminalizes up to 100 grams of marijuana for anyone of any age. The ordinance, which was sponsored, co-sponsored by Vice Mayor Chris Smitherman and Council Member Jeff Pastor, passed five to three. Nine on your side's Palosuro is live with community reaction to this. All right, Paula, what's everyone thinking? Yeah, well, Tanya, I first want to put it into perspective. This is what 100 grams looks like. This is just in cereal form in the Ziploc bag. But today, as you mentioned, five council members voted to not make it a crime to carry this amount of marijuana in Cincinnati. Well, the other council members had more to say. Council member Lansman? Yes. Council member Mann? No. It was a 5-3 vote in favor to council member Jeff Pastor and Vice Mayor Smitherman's ordinance Wednesday morning. <laughs> Received with claps, but not from everyone. I think we're making a big mistake. David Mann was one of the three council members saying no to the past ordinance, which states that anyone of any age can now carry up to 100 grams of marijuana in Cincinnati and not get fined or jailed. The ordinance allows a 12-year-old to possess enough marijuana to for 300 joints that doesn't make any sense to me why we wouldn't to say hey that's okay council members amy murray and tamaya denard also voted against it denard saying she does want to decriminalize marijuana but won't vote yes until they have more talks about expunging those who have been punished for something that's now being allowed decriminalization and expungement have to go hand in hand expungement can't be an afterthought uh, because of the disproportionate number of black people that it is this is a, has impacted council member pastor says that now that the ordinance passed that's the next step to focus on so 86 percent of those arrested for marijuana possession they're african-american what it means moving forward we're continuing to work on expungement uh, for those who have already been charged previously he believes with this ordinance passing the cincinnati police department will now be able to focus their resources elsewhere we've seen a, a scourge in crime and so you know we, we want our police officers to focus on those things that are a real threat to society marijuana is not a threat to our society Well, I also spoke to a lot of people who live and work in Cincinnati. What did they have to say? But also, what is the timeline on this ordinance? I've got all of that coming up in the next hour. For now, we're live in front of City Hall and Paolo Soro 9 on your side.